I'm Allie, and welcome to Wisdom for Living. Three minutes of your week, wisdom for a lifetime. What I want to talk about today is forgiving other people, letting go of resentment and bitterness, giving people the benefit of the doubt, not bearing a grudge in your heart. Anyone who studies Judaism knows these are deeply held Jewish values, and in our classes we talk about them a lot, and people are really listening. Why? Because invariably, people have someone in their life they simply cannot let go of resentment towards. They just can't forgive. In fact, I remember that the class that I gave before Yom Kippur on forgiveness was the most highly attended class that I ever gave. Now, invariably, after I teach a class, people will say, great class, Allie, that was so interesting, but it doesn't apply to me. You don't know my sister, or if you knew my mother-in-law, or if you had met my spouse. So what are they saying here? These rules just don't apply to me because you don't know how much I have a right to this resentment. So what I want to tell you today very quickly is that I think people confuse what forgiveness and letting go of resentment is all about. One, they think, about, they think it's about forgetting and they just can't forget. And we're not robots. We can't forget. Two, they think it's about condoning behavior. If I forgive, am I saying it's okay what they did? Forgiveness is really not about either of those things. Rather, it's about something else. It's about understanding that when we carry resentment in our hearts, when we carry bitterness in our thinking, and when we can't forgive, we are the ones who suffer. The people we're angry toward, they're going on their merry way, they're returning their Hanukkah gifts, they're having a grand old time. And we are the ones who are rehashing our negative thoughts over and over again in our heads. We're the ones who have trouble sleeping. We're the ones who have difficulty during the day, who will talk negatively about this person to anyone who will listen. We are the ones who suffer. When we carry a resentment toward another person, and I don't need to tell you, these resentments can last decades, from childhood into adult life. When we carry those resentments in our hearts, we are the ones who suffer. We are the ones who lose. It's almost like we are drinking a vial of poison and hoping the other person drops dead. It makes no sense. We are the losers. I heard a great analogy, and I want to say it very quickly to you to just highlight what this really is all about. Can you imagine that you bought a membership to a pool for $175? It's your membership. You have a right to use the pool. But when you get there, you discover that there's cigarette butts floating all over the top of the pool, and there's disgusting insects all over the pool. It's dirty, smelly, and disgusting. Do you have a right to use this pool? Yes. Do you have a membership? Yes. Do you want to swim in this pool? Absolutely not. It could be that you have a right to stew. It could be that you have a right to be resentful. But do you really want to swim in the pool? When we forgive and we let go of resentments, what we're doing is we're clearing up our mind and we're clearing up our energy and we're redirecting ourselves to a life of gratitude and happiness and well-being. And that's a pool that you want to swim in. Thank you.